In the previous video in this series here, we showed you how we installed this double vanity here in the master bathroom dressing area. And then we started to install all of the hardy backer, tile backer panels onto the shower walls. And then we did the waterproofing. We installed the Schluter Curdy membrane here for waterproofing. We also showed you the installation of the shower pan and the shower curb alongside of it and then the tricky process of installing the shower drain. Then after that we showed you waterproofing of the shower floor with the Curdy waterproofing membrane and installing the river rock tiles onto the shower floor. So we are going to show you how we took this old 1983 ugly bathroom with ugly wallpaper and convert this ugly duckling into a beautiful spring swan. We're going to show you how this ugly old bathroom turns into this beautiful resort style bathroom and it all starts right now. staging area in the master closet for the work we're doing here in the master bath. Here you can see we just got finished tiling the floor last night. There's the 18 inch travertine tiles and here's the awesome looking Riverstone shower floor that we did and here you can see the travertine piece on the bench and here is, uh, I really love this, this bronze Schluter drain here that we put in. So we had to stitch all of the rocks all the way around it. Came out pretty good, I think. And um, all around the edge here, the perimeter, we had to stitch in rocks here and there. So that it wouldn't look like these were sheets of rocks. We wanted it to make it look a little bit more random. So we did stick in a few extra pieces here and there. And then over here, you can see on the niche, we've already installed our base piece. You always want the bottom piece to go on first so that there's no grout line. You want the back wall to go on last so the water will splash against the back wall and drip down here onto this. And this is already mounted at a slight angle to allow any water to run off back into the shower here. So we've put some sealer and enhancer on these stones because these are natural travertine stones. And then what we're going to do, have to let it cure for a day or two and then we'll come back in and grout. And then today we're going to be sealing these travertine tiles here. And as you can see, they're nice and level. Both of my spirit levels are quite happy. So we know we did the install properly on these. And of course we used our tile leveling system. These wedges make sure that all of your tiles are completely level to your adjacent tiles. Back in the master bathroom here, you can see I just finished grouting our shower floor and we're just waiting for it to dry to a haze so that I can come back with a wet sponge and remove all of the grout. And what a difference 30 minutes makes folks. I've already come in and removed all of the grout with the sponge and now the floor of the shower looks just perfect. And here is the drain installed back. All right, so when we do this niche right here, this is the bottom shelf that I'm going to put in here. And I, you can see I've got these three blue spacers here. 
these spacers are going to make this bottom piece sit at a slight angle because you always want to angle the water down into the shower. Don't believe what these other bozos tell you that, oh, it's got to be perfectly flat. No, it's got to be at a slight angle. And you can see it visually, of course, but then, you know, once you put your spirit level on there, it's more than obvious that it's perfectly at an angle. Here we are in the arch niche inside the master bath. So we've tiled the marble octagons onto the back of it. And uh, we are going to be playing today with our dry fitting. This is our OG. These are OG pieces here that are going to form the border. And these are going to run down here like this. And so what we're going to do now is we have to figure out once we get up to the top of this arch, we need to cut up about 10 pieces of 2 inch OG and I want to try to cut them so that they make a nice tiny grout hole that you really can't tell that you made this arch out of segments. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to measure across the arch which I've already done that and that's 13 inches and then we're going to use this compass. This is a larger compass that allows you to do a larger size arch. And We're going to trace this on a cardboard and determine from there how big to cut our little segments. We're gonna pre-cut them with cardboard and make sure that they fit perfectly and then we're going to cut them up. So here we've gone ahead and we've taped up a few pieces here just to see how they dry fit together and uh, this is gonna look really, really nice. Very classy when it's done. So you can see uh, we've cut them at 45 degree angle so that the horizontal can meet the vertical. They're gonna go straight up the side here. They're gonna curve around the arch and they're going to come right back down the other side again to the bottom. This will look very, very nice when it's done. Okay, so we're drawing our arch now. This is the 13 inch diameter here, so I'm drawing the inside part now. And now I have the OG piece right here, so now I need to set the width of that, and you can see I've already marked it here, that pencil mark. So I already know now how wide to make it and I've set the compass. I'm going to put the compass back into the position here and I'm going to draw my arch and that's going to be the width of our OG pieces. You can see the arch go. And now with our OG pieces taped in place we also taped in place the template for the arch. So you can see how the border is going to continue up here and then it's going to go up and around the arch and come right back down the other side. So now we know we're going to have tiles that are cut the right width and everything. And now we're just going to make our marks for the segments throughout the arch of where. And now a few minutes later, we've marked all of these segments here. And we're going to trace these out onto the OG tiles and we're going to cut them. I've got all my cut OG pieces here, they're numbered and they're ready to go in order. And now here you're looking at the result of about three hours worth of work. You wouldn't think of it, it takes quite a bit of time to place all of these tiles, especially these curved segments up here at the top here, because you have to use all of these spacers And it's a, it's a huge game that you keep playing whack-a-mole. You move one piece and adjust it, and another piece falls out of whack. And then we had to use these wooden custom pieces that I cut here just to 
support these arch pieces here because they were trying to slide. Even if you have your thin set really super dry like I had it, it still wants to flow a little bit. These are very heavy pieces. So you gotta support these. In 24 hours from now, we will go ahead and grout this. To start laying the field tiles, I have a couple of little templates that you can see up here going around the arch that will help me determine how to cut my tiles that are going to go around this arch here, the niche. What we've done here is on the second layer up from the floor, you can see I have this ledger board here, and this is a straight, perfectly straight piece of bamboo flooring that's machine edged, so I know it's nice and level. And then we have it mounted to the wall here, nice and level, and we're just going to rest the second level of tiles right on them. That way we know they'll be at a perfectly straight level line and all the other tiles as we go up the wall from there will be perfectly square and level. All we have to do is just make sure that they're flat and we're using our tile leveling system with our little uh, spacers there and our little wedges down here in the bucket. So you can see we've got the first two tiles up now and their spacers are in place and the leveling wedges are in place. So now what we're doing is we're applying the thin set directly to the back of each tile. We put it on thick. We're going to lay it down thick first. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and trowel it, the half inch trowel lines. And we're not going to scrape it all the way to the bottom of the tile. You shouldn't hear any scraping when you travel it. So it just goes nice and smooth. Make your groove lines. And then we'll stick the tiles directly to the wall. This is much quicker, much more efficient use of time. It's cleaner. And it's the exact same thing as if you were to travel it onto the wall. Only it's going right onto the tile. And this way you make sure that you have 100% coverage on the back of the tile. And you just simply push the tile into place, move it around a little, get it with the mallet and start leveling. day two of the tiling here of the master bathroom so here we've gotten a fair amount of the field tiles up and the accent tiles as well and you can see of course here we're using our tile leveling system here and these have really been a godsend on these uh, walls here because mounting these giant 12 by 24 half inch thick travertine tiles they weigh a ton and getting them to stay level can be a challenge, so having these wedges in here really does the trick here and keeping them perfectly level from tile to tile.
Okay, now just a reminder, down in the video description below, we'll put links to any of the other videos in the series before and after. So as the series develops here over the next few videos here, you'll be able to go back and forth between the different videos. And we'll also put it in the thumbnails at the very end of the video there. You'll be able to click on the thumbnails up ahead there. Well, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. And if you're finding it helpful, hey, go ahead and click that thumbs up down below there for us. And make sure you click on that subscribe button down there as well. And don't forget to hit that little gray bell icon as well. Because if you don't hit that gray bell icon, YouTube will not tell you when we upload a video and you'll miss it. We'll have videos going up there and you'll never even know about it. Like it never even happened. So make sure you do that. And thanks for tuning in, folks. And we'll see you on the next one.